The prosecutor said, as far as strange motives go, this one is at the top. And that might be an understatement. So down in Texas, a cheerleader's mom thought she would clear out the competition for her daughter by hiring a hitman. And usually these kind of stories come out of Florida, but this one comes out of uh, the great state of Texas, land of uh, big dreams, big high school football stadiums, and big hair. And this is one of the stories I use in uh, coaching clinics that for, for high school football coaches, just as far as trying to get the parents to think about perspective. Uh, hiring a hitman to take out the competition, probably not a great idea, especially when it involved a ninth grade team. This is not even junior varsity or varsity cheerleading. It's ninth grade. Hold off on the hitman. And unfortunately, this is, as sad as it is, it, it's, it is pretty comical, and, it, and you can use it um, in your coaching clinics uh, or at the preseason meetings with, with parents. It really kind of it's a sticky story, so they'll, they'll, they'll get the picture just based on the absurdity of this. It's hard to forget about it. So down in Texas, this was a, a cheerleader's mom, and, and, and the mom had kind of a failed career herself as a cheerleader, and she wanted to transfer those dreams of her, her own that were not fulfilled onto her daughter. You know, when, when her daughter was five years old, she got at the cheerleading costume, all that kind of stuff. Uh, by the time she got into eighth grade, the daughter, she got cut from the cheerleading team. Pretty big setback for mom. The next year in ninth grade, she got cut again. So two years in a row, and mom just snapped. And mom blamed her daughter's friend as being too tough of competition. So mom decided to hire a hitman to take out her daughter's rival's mom because she thought by taking out her daughter's friend's mom, that would shake up the competition and her daughter would somehow get a place on the team. Not a great plan. Um, definitely want to try to talk to the parents at these preseason meetings about, hey, if conflict comes up, let's schedule a parent-coach conference. Um, if your kid's slipping behind as far as the physical skills go, you know, look at some private lessons and, you know, maybe a change of direction. Maybe this sport isn't for them. They want to look at other sports, but there's better ways to go about it than hiring a hitman. So perspective is what it comes down to. Um, and this happened back in 1991. It's the, uh, you can find it all over online, but it's, it's the called her the pom pom mom. So take a look at it. It's a good story to use for those preseason meetings with parents. Thanks.